what better time than now to make a big pot of soup to get you through the single digit weather we are about to encounter. For today's Super Tuesday, we're putting a spin on the traditional chili you probably grew up with. And the best part, it has only six ingredients. Kelsey Robb is a registered dietitian and the blogger behind 605 Dietitian. She's joining us to share a delicious chicken chili recipe that the entire family will love. Welcome, Kelsey. Thanks for having me. I'm a big fan of chili. Me I love too. all kinds of chili. I have tried a different variation of chicken chili, so I'm excited to see your recipe and see what mm -hmm. you include. But let's just get started and first just talk about why a recipe like this is great, not only because it tastes good, but also budget friendly. Yes, very budget friendly. And this is great because all of these items are pantry staples. So you can stock up when they're on sale. Um, you can buy frozen chicken breast, freeze it, and then you have it ready to go when you want a quick, easy, budget-friendly meal. And it's also a great way if you're doing the January Shop Your Pantry Challenge, where you don't buy many groceries in January and try to use up all your canned goods. Wait, I have not heard of this. Yes. Is this something that's trending? It is. Okay, well, I guess I need to jump on board with this. Yes. It's very smart to go through everything before you keep buying more. Yes, I agree. So this is a really great recipe if you're someone that likes traditional chili with the traditional tomatoes, chili seasoning, garlic, ground beef type recipe, but you want to transition to maybe a chicken recipe to kind of vary it up, uh, and you're not a fan of maybe more the broth-based other recipes. So, okay. Yep. So first you're spraying it. Yep. Why have I never done that when I've used my crock pot? You, I like to spray <laughs> it, or you can use those genius liners. They make okay. those crock Haven't pot liners. Haven't used that either. I've just dumped everything yes. in. Yes. I like this for cleanup. It just saves a lot of cleanup. So you just do one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. I just cut mine up because then you don't have to shred it later. It, okay. All the work's done. If you like to shred the chicken, you can do that. You can also use chicken thighs. You can use ground turkey, whatever you like for a protein. Okay. Um, and then you will do one can of pinto beans. So you can either add the liquid of the pinto beans and then you won't have to add the chicken stock. Okay. Um, and this is a way to thicken the chili. So you could add even more beans if you like it super, yep. super thick and hearty. Yep, yep. And then you don't have to worry about adding the chicken stock and it kind of is a natural thickener to the soup. Okay. I'm gonna have you start chopping on our fire roasted red peppers. So if you can't find these in your store, the easy alternative is just to use a red bell pepper and cut that up. So okay. you can use even like the frozen fajita peppers too if you want to use those. Does this give it a little kick? It gives it a, just a depth of flavor that okay you know, a little extra flavor. And this is how you can get away with using less ingredients then. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yep. And then I'm just gonna open a can of fire roasted tomatoes. Now, while you're opening that and getting that ready, I wanna ask a little bit about using the crock pot. Cause I know a lot of people do make chili in a big pot, but mm -hmm. what are the key components for using a crock pot or the benefits for using that? Time saver. Time saver? Yep, you can put this on, go to work, leave it on low for 10 hours, come home, dinner's ready, and it will just stay warm till you're ready to eat. Also, I find that it's a great way to cook a lean cut of protein and have it still be tender. Sometimes okay. when you cook lean protein, it gets dry and right. doesn't have all that flavor. This really helps to maintain that. Is this good or do you want more? You can chop the rest of that if you want, um, or you can just put that in, either way works. So the beauty of this recipe is you are in control of everything you add. So you add as much or as the least that you like. So, okay. yep. And this actually looks pretty good um, for liquid. You can leave it like this if you like a thicker stew because it's all covered. The main I thing, love mine thick. So like this would probably chunky. be for you. If you like yours a little bit thinner, you would add chicken stock here. So you can see that this is just has a nice thickness to it. So this is all good for Brittany because that's the <laughs> kind you like. Yes. Um, a heartier chili. Mm -hmm. This is the bonus ingredient. Garlic. garlic okay. I like garlic. If you don't like garlic, simply don't add it. See, this is really one that you can tweak as well. And then chili seasoning, I just sprinkle this on top and we'll give it a mix. And this actually looks ready to go. Now um, you could make your own 
chili seasoning yes. as well. Are there yep. benefits to doing that? So if you are someone that might have an allergy to some of like oils or sunflower or certain ingredients, corn that might be in some of these prepackaged um, options, then you can certainly make your own and you're in control of the ingredients too. Right. So, and it's a little bit cheaper. So, okay. and then you'll just put the lid on it. And then I like to cook mine on high for six hours, but you also can cook it on low if you want to. So okay. it's kind of when do you want to eat your chili? So you can put it in, go to work, and come back. Yes. Yep. So then once it's ready, we obviously need to put some toppings yes. on it. Yep. So what do you recommend to eat and just kind of flavor it up or have a good side with it? Yep, so there's lots of different options you can do. So either tortilla chips or just a tortilla. Like if you want to do a fresh flour tortilla or corn tortilla. I like a little bit of cheese. Um, sour cream is also great in here. If you like like limes or cilantro, you can add those as well. So lots of different toppings. You can kind of pick the direction that you go with your chili. So Now one thing I've noticed because I usually when I make any sort of chili, I make kind of my own seasoning with it and sometimes when I'm done with it cooking in the pot or crock pot whatever I decide mm -hmm. to use I'll notice like oh this doesn't have as much flavor as I had hoped for mm -hmm. as far as like seasoning goes so what can I do after it's all ready to go and it's already been cooking for mm -hmm. six hours what can I add to just give it a little bit more flavor oh give it a little more kick so you can add just little chili powder on top or I really like to use like a chili lime seasoning it kind of gives it some extra depth of flavor um, hot sauce, salsa, anything like that would be a great addition and as you well. Could add it in. Yep. And then as far as like the thickness goes, mm -hmm. maybe some people don't love it super thick like yep. I do. Could they just add some chicken stock at the end yes. if it's too thick for them? Yep. Yep. You, so you can add chicken stock or you can add the broth from there. If you do chicken stock, I usually say about two cups is a good amount, and I really recommend using yes. the no salt added. And let's take a look at the final product. We have a picture of it. Mmm, that looks delicious. Well, thank you so, so much, Kelsey, for coming in and sharing this recipe with yes. us. Yes, thank you.